a business professional and entrepreneur. Uh, I've been in the business of psychedelics specifically for the past three years. Um, you know, and, and that, of course, with experience in tourism, sales and marketing, which which I believe are all, you know, they all come together to help to help with what we're doing here. I think they are benefiting factors. Uh, I am a Jamaican scene. Yeah. And I, I really and truly, most of my family are are the, here in Jamaica and are in, are in the rest of the world in the States. You know, my family is spread right across the diaspora. And I always love to, to, to share, you know, as much as we can from Yad. My dream is really and truly to attract and bring in as much as the people them to experience here in Jamaica. And so I'm happy about this initiative that, that we've, we've entered into together, you know. Um, now, I mentioned that I come in from a retail experience. This gave me an opportunity to have face-to-face -face contact with, with customers, with persons who have never before experienced any form of psychedelics. It allows us to understand how delicate it is a topic and how important it is to be able to share information. You know, one of the biggest issues that we've had as a nation is that it is just that information is something that was not readily available um, and a lot of these things were taboo and, and spoken down and against. You know, being a part of the psychedelics evolution, as I like to call it, <laughs> it gives us an opportunity to, to equip ourselves and people with information. Um, I like the fact that we're coming from a perspective of science as well, because people want to hear of our personal experiences, our personal journey. But also there's a lot of people there that really need to have scientific facts to back that. And so we'll be equipped with this plus experience shamanic guidance, you know, um, personal guides and so on. I am interested in the injection of music in this experience because I see the value of consciously um, using the music and the platform to be a part of transformation, right? My personal experience as a musician as well is also using shrooms. Um, I might, what you might call as microdosing are using smaller dosages uh, prior to going on stage because I realize how much it impacts the connection in the performance and, and allowing me to relax and to drop some defenses that would have normally just kind of blocked the, the, the true connection and the real intention because that's what it's about for, for me. We're going to try and see how we can use frequencies and, and just conscious mindfulness to, to incorporate this excellent experience for Jamaicans. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, the Afrobeats part to the entertainment aspect. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing and sharing and to going along with these people through their journey, along their experience, because we know that evolution, in my opinion, is inevitable, right? So we know some persons may be a little bit apprehensive in, in being a part of such an experience. But that is why I know that, you know, we're, we're primarily women leading this thing. I, I look forward to that feminine and nurturing uh, touch that we'll be applying to it. And I hope to, you know, share with the team from that angle, you know.